Today I fucked up by answering my wife's call on loudspeaker. Obligatory, this wasn't today, start. It was actually a few weeks ago now. I am a father to three kids and a husband to one wife. Me and my wife have a young daughter of three and I have two boys of 13 and 11 from a previous relationship. Me and my wife have been together for nine years now and our bedroom relationship is as strong as the first day we started dating so I'm quite lucky in that respect I think. We often like to dirty talk in the bedroom and are quite adventurous but we don't talk about sex or anything like that when the kids are around for obvious reasons. Anyway, one night I had picked up the boys from DND that they participate in once a week. Me and my wife had been discussing a redecoration we'd be doing that weekend and she said she would investigate some stuff and call me later if she finds anything while I am out and to discuss what we'd eat that night. So my phone rings while I'm driving all three kids home and because we have a new model of car that has CarPlay I can just answer the phone over the speakers. I don't think my wife realized I was driving back as she started discussing food for the evening and then asked what I wanted to do tonight. I said hum not sure what do you fancy and before I knew what was happening she blurted out. I want you to fucking rail me once the kids are in bed. Guys I must have gone white as a fucking sheet and I've never hung up a phone call faster in my life. She didn't call me back so I knew she'd realized what had happened. All I heard from behind me were the exaggerated screams of my two mortified sons as they tried to process what they just heard. I got home from a largely tense car ride and gave my wife the look of shame that she immediately returned to me and my boys rushed upstairs without a word. We had to have a very awkward conversation with them after that and needless to say I did absolutely fucking rail her that evening or any evening until they returned to their mother's house. Too long did not read. My wife spoke about her sexual desires on the phone and didn't realize she was on speaker in a car full of kids. Edit. A lot of people were confused by the one wife comment. It just sounded funny to me after I said three kids. It's not that deep guys haha. I'm guessing that last paragraph has a typo but if not way to flex on M. This is one reason I tell people they are on speakerphone before the discussion starts. Also, if someone isn't already on speakerphone, I ask if it's okay first. I learned the hard way zipper mouth face. Just tell M they're the results of a good railing. Don't feel bad. My 12-year-old asked me why me and my husband wait until it's really late and then make so much noise clapping. She said she woke up close to 4 a.m. that morning to use the bathroom and couldn't get back to sleep because of the all the clapping and the couch banging against the wall. All I could do before I died of embarrassment was promise we'd be more considerate of how loud we clap from now on. And here I was thinking I was being considerate by having sexy time on an entirely different floor of the house weary. Today I fucked up by accidentally hooking up with my former youth pastor. This actually happened about a month ago, but I needed to recover mentally first. I, 24, temporarily moved back home for summer after graduating college. One night I was bored and I went on Tinder. I matched with an older guy, 37, but he was pretty good looking and we actually got along well. Next day we decide to meet up. I felt like I recognized him from somewhere but it's a fairly small town so I didn't think much of it. We meet up at a local bar, and well, one thing led to another and we ended up having sex in the back of his car. I was leaving the next week so I didn't really care what happened. Next day is the only Sunday my mom has had off since I've been there, and she wants us all to go to church. Guess who's doing the sermon that day? He immediately recognized me, and we make awkward eye contact for a second. Then it hits me. He. Was. My. Youth. Pastor. I hadn't seen him in almost a decade. I have no idea if he knew who I was right away or not, and I'd rather not know. I left in a hurry after the service. Oh and I found out later he was married. So there's that. Too long did not read. I was bored and went on Tinder. I matched to an older guy and we hooked up. Found out the next day he was my old youth pastor. This pastor in a small town is tindering with his face and photos eyes. Any dude having sex in a car at his age, is hiding something. Holy hell. A. You didn't do anything wrong. Pretty fucked up for a supposed man of God to be violating the sanctity of marriage, but uh. Dot not really on you. Was the sermon about adultery? Hilarious. Dot. You hold all the cards, here. He's married, religious leadership, on fucking Tinder. He's losing sleep, my friend. Stand straight and tall and look him right in the eye. He will sweat bullets. You have all the cards. A silly coincidence, but there's no need for you to cower and run. Always remember he's now terrified of you. You are not the one fucking up in this situation.